hello everyone and welcome back to yon channel technical sahil in today's video we are going to explore an easy method which shows us how we can verify bulk emails using a desktop software this one the best part about the software is that it does not require any smtp service or cloud hosting environment yes it will validate emails by not just checking their mx records but through a proper SMTP authentication method using the TCP port. I had previously made a video on an email verifier which is currently unavailable on this channel due to some YouTube policy violations. However, during the time that the video was available and for those who have watched it, the biggest challenge they faced was setting up that script, which I have shown in that video was a PHP script which I had set up and demonstrated in that video. The video was itself a 35 to 40 minutes lengthy and also it requires a proper SMTP server. But with this software, no such setup is required. First, you'll need to extract this zip file. You can find the same file through a download link in the description of this video. Once it's extracted, you simply need to open the folder and this software comes up with the source code if you are familiar with c sharp it is written in c sharp language so if you are familiar you can simply uh, you must have visual studio installed on your pc if you know how to code on c sharp so you can also open this project and do some modifications according to your preference but if you simply does not want anything to change in the code you simply uh, need to open this folder bin folder and debug and simply you need to open this application here you can enter your own email either it's gmail or your business email doesn't matter you can simply mention your email here after that don't don't change anything and if you are using a Windows RDP or any proxy environment, proxy server, you can also enable this multi-threading. It will, what it does is, it will validate multiple emails at the same time in the single second. But if you are using your personal computer like me, uh, with the internet provided by your ISP, so there's a chance of IP blacklisting if you enable this thing. So keep this in mind. So after that, you need to click save changes. The settings has been saved. This is the only setting we need to do. Now let's say in the uh, single validation, let me enter my own email first. And click check it now. Yes, it is valid and uh, deliverable email. But this is my actual email hello at the rate technical side.com. I've already many of the viewers have already connected with me on this email. But let's try a different email on the same domain. Let's say hi because I does not have an email like hi at the rate technical side.com. So let's check. Yeah, invalid and undeliverable email. I did this step because uh, just to show you that it's not just only checking the MX records of the domain, but it's validating through a proper SMTP authentication method. Now let's try a Gmail email address. It's my valid email. So let's see it show. Yeah, valid and deliverable. Now let's change the year. Uh, my birth year is 1997. So let's change 1995 and see that it's yeah, it's invalid and undeliverable email. So that's how you can validate single emails uh, from here. If you want bulk validations, you simply need to click here. Either you can manually enter the emails line by line. Like, let me show you an email list. That's the email list. Either you can copy it from here or paste it here. But if the email is the email list is bit lengthy you can't copy and paste it here because if it's much more lengthy the software itself would be hang so you can simply uh, remove this thing and to import the list you need to click here and you can import the same list here 
uh, this one and you can see that was also 18 it has also 18 so it has picked up the emails which contains by the list so let's start validating It's validating very fast, you can see. The validation process is completed. Now, if we view the result, you can see it has validated out of uh, six emails uh, were valid in this 18. And if we can, if we want to export this valid emails, we can also do that like desktop valid list and it will filter and give us only valid emails simply in case of invalid but uh, this is not useful because what you will do with the invalid emails but it it has its own use case like if you are validating for something else some uh, different purpose it's also an option here and this is the option which we usually require to validate and filter the email so that we can directly import our list in the email sending software and we can do the other stuff. So that's all for this video. This is actually the email verification is itself the most important thing before email sending because as you can see there were 18 emails but out of 18 only 6 are valid. So let's say if it's 180k emails and this is the same equation of valid or invalid so it can blacklist our IP at day one and it will increase the bounce rate of our SMTP server if the provider is strict a little bit then it will block our server the first day of our email sending campaign so this is the biggest problem most of the email marketers face they contact me via email or whatsapp about the server suspensions or port blocks so that's the reason that's the main reason they did not follow this technique of email marketing they directly just take their list and start sending the emails without validating the emails they are sending are actually correct or incorrect so i thought it would be good thing to share with you so i do that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching it till the end